Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, What Does Your Crush Feel About You? Alright, so this is going to be stone number one with a tiger's eye, stone number two with a clear quartz crystal, stone number three with a lapis lazuli, and stone number four with the amethyst. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you have to and pick, get out your pendulum and pick out which stone it's supposed to be. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and get started and let's find out what your crush feels about you. All right, so I have the cards for stone number one with the tiger's eye, and let's find out what your person, what your person, what your crush feels about you. So we have the king of cups, we have strength, we have the knight of swords, we have the page of swords, we have the two of wands, we have the six of swords in the reverse. We also have number 35, never jam today. And we have number 14, patronage. Uh, well, your person is feeling emotionally calm. Um, I want to go over my three, the who, the signs. Let me know if they resonate. I feel like it is probably, there is, could be an ear sign. We have the Leo with the strength here. We also have the Knight of Swords which is, where is it, Knight of Swords, Taurus, Gemini, and then we have the King of Cups, which is Libra, Scorpio, and then with the Page of Swords, it could be like any air sign. <sighs> It feels like your person is holding back because they're trying to make a choice between what they want, what kind of path they want. It almost feels like what kind of person they want to be. I feel like that maybe that you've already said things with to this person and for a lot of you and that they've said that they would do things to you, with you and they haven't. However, they are feeling pretty emotionally calm towards you. I feel like that they do want to communicate with you. They are holding back for right now because they're trying to figure out what kind of communication they want to do. You know, if they want to, uh, if they want to kind of just communicate something more affectionate or if they want to communicate something just friendly. I feel like they not quite sure what they want to do. I feel like they will make a choice, but at, for a moment, the choice is between communication and then the, the Six of Swords in the reverse here, which is, hmm, I feel like they want to tell you they're feeling all alone. Uh, this person might, they're having difficulty releasing the past. Their logic and emotions are in disagreement. And they're afraid of the unknown. So it's messing with them. They want to try to just charge through it. With patronage, I'm getting... It's saying that support with a lot of strings attached takes the joy out of it for everyone if that makes sense. So maybe you're being very nice to them, but it's because you have strings attached with that things that you're, you're hoping to get something in return. You're doing it because you want to get their affection or something in return, but and it, it, they know that, and so it doesn't mean as much to them because they want you to, if, they, if you do it, they don't want any strings attached. So... This person does seem like they're going through something. They are definitely holding back. It's kind of funny how it's like saying, holding back from making a decision. So it's almost, they could have just done that with a stalemate almost with the two of swords, but had to use two whole swords, two whole cards for that one. But 
I do feel they're holding back, but they're also holding back coming forward and they're holding back their affections. I do think that this person does care about you. I'm not saying that they're in love with you, but I think they care about you. They just don't know what to do with it, any of it yet. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to stone number two. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the clear quartz crystal and let's find out how they feel about you, how your crush feels about you, if anything. <sighs> I gotta get used to saying that. So we have the King of Cups, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have Justice, we also have It's Always Tea Time, Eternity, Endless Moments, and Repetition. We also have Nonsense, It's Time to Talk Sense. And we also have number 24, strategy. So let's see, what do they feel? They do feel emotionally calm towards you. I do feel like they actually, they do care about you. They are very overwhelmed here with this two of pentacles. We have the three of wands, I'm feeling like. <sighs> They're launching some long-term plans. They're trying to figure out something long-term that they want to possibly do with you. I feel like they're thinking about communicating it, but something is not quite right. I feel like... Hmm... They want to be fair. They want things to be fair with you and you want to be fair with them, I'm feeling as well. They want things to be fair between both of you, okay? I feel like they feel like it's not balanced and that or it's because things are not balanced it is causing an issue. Hmm. So the signs associated with this reading is going to be Libra. Then with the Queen of Pentacles, we have, which is uh, Sagittarius Capricorn, and the King of Cups is Libra Scorpio. I do feel like this person wants to communicate to you, or has maybe possibly has done or sent you some kind of a message about all of this. They do have an issue with their schedule and everything. They're trying to be logical in this situation. I feel like they've had a difficulty in conversation, like having a hard time communicating with you about a certain situation because they're having a change in schedule or you have had a change in schedule. Somebody has. But it's like they keep, you keep, I just keep kind of repeating the same situations over and over and you're being trapped by schedules that need to be changed or it needs to be finagled with. So there's difficulty here with being spontaneous and everything. And that's what I'm getting from this always tea time. There's some kind of situation also about standing up for yourself when someone is behaving in a way that is silly or unfair. I think maybe you are stand up for yourself. Point in that you've pointed out a person's bad behavior, not backing down, which is good. 
We are looking at someone like right in the eye and being very brave. I think that you surprised them. I feel like there could be like a situation where you did this in front of them or where they could it was with they could see it and they were surprised by it. So I feel like they are trying to strategize about the situation, but hmm, they're trying to strategize, but I'm feeling like they might not be telling you about it. They're trying to keep quiet about it. So I think that they might actually surprise you with something, that they might communicate with you and surprise you with something. I think that there's just been a delay. This two of pinnacles can also indicate a delay and then being overwhelmed with the schedule. So I actually feel like they're actually going to say something to you about it. I think that they, I mean, we have the king of cups here, especially if that's not their sign, then that's how they're feeling towards you. Okay. And the king of cups is very loving. So I do feel like they are they are somehow launching some kind of long-term plans with you. And they're gonna communicate some of the stuff with you, but I don't think they've done it yet. They're waiting till the time's right. Things are more balanced between you. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumb, thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to stone number three. All right, so we have the cards for stone number three with the lapis lazuli and let's find out if they love you or whatever, how are they feeling about you? I guess you don't want to know if they love you, if they're like your brother. I don't know, maybe you do want to know if they love you. It doesn't have to be romantic. Anyway, <laughs> let's find out if you're, what you feel about, what your crush feels about you. I'm saying this all wrong. Just scratch everything I just said, start over. <laughs> all right, crush, how do they feel about you? So we have the Sun, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We also have Eleven, Changed in the Night. And we have number 19, Management. Alrighty. The reason why I feel awkward is because I feel like this is the person you work with and I don't feel like they think of you like that. They're like, ah. They like you. Don't get me wrong. They like you as a person. They feel positively about you. They have. They want to launch long-term goals with you. They think you've changed really quickly. I'm feeling a little bit of... This is weird energy here. Okay. And I see hard work here. I see them offering... They. they I feel like they're recognizing your hard work that you've done. And they want to offer you a new beginning. More work. <laughs> they want to offer you more work. They feel like you've done really well and that you've changed quickly and you've improved. And they might want to offer you management. <laughs> but I'm not seeing anything about being like in love with you or anything like that. Or disliking you or anything. I just seems like it's totally strictly professional. But they do have like a new idea, a new offer, a new message, something material to offer you. I'm going to, uh, let me know in the comments if this person is the person you work with. But I'm really feeling like they've made a recognition of all the hard work you've done. They appreciate you as a person, but I don't think that they think, they sit around, they don't, I don't feel like they think of you romantically. I don't see anything romantic here at all. <sighs> And that's why I was feeling so awkward. I'm like, oh no, this could be awkward. Um, not crush. I don't know. The feeling feels like, um, 
they just think of you as like you would think of a sibling or something like that. I don't feel like they have any romantic feelings for you. Their feelings are purely like it would be weird almost for them. Maybe it might change in the future, but right now they just think of you as like a brother or a sister or something. It's what I'm the energy I'm getting from this. And they're, they keep it professional, but they really like you as a person and they want to offer you more, just not romantically. Sorry to disappoint you, but congratulations on your possible, at least, promotion. <laughs> if that is what is going on for you. <sighs> what signs are associated? So we do have, I wanted to say really quickly, we do have the sun, which is Leo. Ace of Wands could be any, any um, fire sign. And the Page of Pentacles can be any earth sign. I'm not having any definite signs other than the Leo one. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And I'm going to move on to stone number four. All right, so I have the cards for stone number four with the amethyst. And let's find out what your crush feels about you. It is really good. <laughs> I'm really happy because all the other three sucked <laughs> and I'm like oh please let somebody have a crush that somebody actually really likes them or something please and this one's really sweet too so we have the seven of swords in the reverse we have the ten of wands we have judgment and we have temperance we have four of wands and we have the seven of swords in the reverse all right it is bittersweet but it's really good okay so we have 38 you are rare and free there's not many people like you and that's what they're feeling about you. You're very, you're very different from everyone else. And then we have number 21, and this one's called Consanguinity. This card means that this person feels like they're soulmate. Okay, see, look really closely at this picture. I'm going to probably use this picture. I don't know why there's going to be a glare. There didn't used to be glares in my screen. See how you can see the hearts? They feel like your soulmates. They feel extremely close to you. Okay? They could be like super close friends. Closer than friends. Closer than family. But you're common. You're drawn together by common interests and values. So this person is definitely a part of your soul family. Okay. And they do feel like you are. There's not many people like you. Okay. However, there is a situation here. Okay. They do feel bad about something. They feel like. They're, they're going to face some consequences. They're having some guilt and regret. and choose, They're going to choose to do the right thing here and try to restore balance in the situation. Okay. Did I name all of these? I think I did, yeah. I have, they're, they're feeling really weighed down by this situation right here. So I feel like they're going to release that soon. And, man, they're opening up the door for you. And they're just... They feel so positively about you that they want to celebrate and they're not wanting to do anything to miss out on being around a person like you. And they've really, they've decided to um, reconcile whatever is happening between you guys. This is a pretty big reconciliation. Okay. They want to, they want to recover. They want, they want a fresh start and I'm not feeling with somebody else. They're feeling with you. Okay. And then, and this right here can also indicate like a sense of relief after a time of stress. So they are very sweat stressed with how things are between the both of you. And I'm feeling like they want to repair the situation. By the way, this situation is, I'm feeling divinely guided. 
this is a very special connection. I hope you know that. Let me know in the comments below if you got number four. I really appreciate it. It makes me happy. I want to see a lot of number fours. People going, I got number four. I got number four. Don't give any too many spoilers away. Or otherwise people will be like, mm, something's good going on with number four. I'm going to go pick that one. But just say, I got number four. <sighs> Anyways, the signs associated with this one are going to be Sagittarius. Sagittarius and doesn't have to be though and Scorpio that's it I think yep you're definitely ending a cycle with this person though I forgot the tens tens lots of tens you're ending a cycle with this person and they're starting a new one a cycle of like mental cycle and a passionate cycle so coming with a passionate cycle what comes after ten Number one, the Ace of Wands is what would be next between the both of you, a new beginning and a fresh start. So I hope you're ready for that. Let me know what happened in the comments below. I'd be really happy to hear about it. You had the best reading of the night, so I don't want to hear no one complaining about getting number four. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.